So, hello everyone, and welcome back to Blender for Games. And today, as I said, we're gonna do how to go from Blender to Unreal Engine 4 with its let me find my list with its scale, LODs, collisions, shading, light maps, and how the origin works. So, let's move on. So, in the beginning, I'm gonna talk about the origin because it's really, really simple. It doesn't take this origin, Unreal Engine 4 reads the center which is 000, the world center, as an origin. So just keep that in mind and don't make any mistakes. The next step is shading. I actually want to talk about shading because if you export it like this, let me do it for one second. Tutorials, yep, import here, FBX, yeah, import all. Uh, this happens. So no smoothing group information was found, blah, 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 I guess. And you're like, why is this happening? Does it have my smoothing groups? It actually reads the smoothing groups. It's not like a big, big deal, but I'm going to show you how to like prevent this. So pretty much we're back in Unreal, in Blender. Oh my God. We're back in Blender. And pretty much what you do is go file, export FBX. And now you go to the geometry tab. And just pick if you shade it with your faces, face smoothing. If you do it with your edges, do edge smoothing. I'll go faces because I don't like edge splits. It takes a little bit more vertices. And now if we, let me just delete it. If we go inside Unreal Engine 4 and we free import, we're not going to have any errors. Hopefully. Yup. And that's it. So the next up is scale. So you can see you have your scale and dimensions. Don't get tricked by this because if you scale your object, it's gonna change the dimensions. But what Unreal Engine 4 does, it actually multiplies your scale by your dimensions. But you can get really, really bad results. So what you do, I don't know if you have, this is an example, you have something like this and you're like, I want the dimensions but not the scale. Just do Control A apply rotation and scale and it's just gonna reset it with your dimensions so that's pretty much it what you need, need to know for it uh, the thing is before you had to like change from blender units to cent to meters i mean centimeters because unreal engine 4 uses centimeters but now actually in 2.8 they fixed it and you're like you don't need to do anything just like watch for your dimensions and scale and that's it so let me export it this is gonna be a really big object on so nine and a half meters so don't get scared because of it. It's gonna be it's gonna be working, but it's not the proper scale for this object. So let me delete it. I think we even had it huge last time. Let me do it. Import all. I think it's gonna. I I think I checked my shading options. Yep. So if we import it, it's gonna be like really really big. And then if we open it. Don't be scared by this, 956 is 956 me uh, centimeters, which is 9 meters and 56 centimeters. And if we go back to the blender, that's pretty much what, what, what we have and it, it's working perfectly. So don't forget scale and the dimensions and that's it. So next up, I chose to talk about LODs. What are LODs? It's pretty much level of detail. So if you go away from an object, it's gonna have more, uh, I mean, less and less polygons. If you come closer to it, to it, it's gonna come to more and more to your original value, which is in my case, 307, uh, 300, 300 and a half K triangles. So pretty much I exported this one. So no, the hero prop is outside. I mean, export that. Let me do it again so you don't get confused by my blabbling. So let's do this. Now, what I'm gonna do is jump to the modifiers. One second. Not this. I'm getting used to the new Blender as well. So <laughs> let's have fun with it. So decimate and let's do something like something we're gonna notice. So we're gonna notice this 100%. It looks really, really bad. So export fbx and you can name it anything you want and i'm gonna call it just lod one so it's not case sensitive it doesn't need any naming conventions it's just gonna work perfectly like this so if we go back to our object i have it opened as well when we watch the scale you have here lod settings so it says none uh, you don't touch that actually sorry so you have lod import so go import lod level one and you can have as many as you want to just check lod one and right now i can't see it but if i move away 
it changes the triangles and it says LOD once, so you can see it. Now, this is LOD zero, hero prop, this much triangle, this, that, and I don't know. <laughs> and if you move away, you can see it's working perfectly. I think you can see it even here. Let me just, yep, you can see it even in your viewport, which is perfect. So let's move on. So next up is, oh my God, my the, the voice crack was too much though. The next up is Collision, Custom Collision. So every time you import something in Unreal Engine 4, it actually makes you a collision. But sometimes it can be really, really, really bad. So I'm gonna show you how to make custom collision in this one. I mean, you're gonna make it yourself. I'm just gonna show you how to import it. So in my opinion, um, I mean, in this case, I'm gonna use actually two of them. So you can have multiple collisions. Something like, I don't know, this. I'll use, I don't know, this perfectly. And I'll use something like, I guess that's gonna work for this one. So what you're gonna do, uh, let me just name my thing gun because I imported it with the LOV thing and just changed my name. So anyways, so what you're gonna do is use this prefix UCX, then underscore your name of the name of the original I can't even talk, the original mesh, and you're gonna do go underscore under a one. And for this one, I'll just copy. Control C and then Control V and I'll do 0, 002. Pretty much now when we export this and I'll call it the uh, I don't know so well so that that's really I don't know I don't know how, what I'm saying so call it Liz Jim I guess I didn't even spell it right so I don't know this is gonna be fun tutorial I guess. Collision and now when you have this option, I'll just gonna say you can see this auto generated collision and it's off because I I don't know I did it probably a few times and I just left it there. But anyways, you, you make sure that is off. So this this one here. So it has to be like this. So don't get confused. Import and let's see if it worked. <laughs> It probably did so collision simple collision and yep so the the long one i mean you can see what what you got so in this one naming convention is really 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 important so don't play with it i mean ucx and o1 is really important so let's go to the last one which is light maps and i'll see you in blender so at the end uh we have left light maps i mean even textures but textures i do separately but i'll show uh, i'll show you even how to export a mesh if you have multiple materials as well so the thing is with light maps in blender it actually has a in 2.8 actually it has a small problem that i notice and i'm gonna send this to the to the guys at blender so if you want a light map you can you could come to this triangle part and you add a plus. The first mo the first map is always your UV map. The second map is always, and keep in mind, this thing is connected with the material. So the first one is your UV map. The second, map, the second one is your light map. So the thing is, if I check the, UV, uh, the light map, and if I unwrap light map pack, I get this, which annoys me. That's why I'm gonna come here and show you that it works actually. So pretty much the same thing. You have this triangle thing, you plus, uh, you press plus on the um, UV map, and you just come to the, you tab it to to the to go to my blabbling state, to go to the <laughs> uh, edit mode, and you go to the UV map here to see what is happening. This is our UV map one, and if we unwrap with light maps, and I'll say margin always a little bigger but you know this is way way too much i probably broke it not probably i broke it welcome to blender 2.79 yep so i made a huge mistake let me just do that again so zero point something like this it needs to have some it should be less padding you know so if we export this fbx uh, tutorials and i'll say old good friend good friend 2.79 with way too many dots and i'll do the same here with geometry and faces or edges i don't know and yep 
and export FBX. And now if we import, let me just see our first map. Does it? Yep. See our first, this is our first map, which is the UV map. And this is our second map, which is our light map. So I'll leave this on and I'll jump in back here and I'll import our good old friend, good old buddy and light map we need to see the light map settings here so let me let me see here uh there should be something with light maps where is it though oh here you guys probably want to kill me because of it but you know i, I can't blame you import so there we go the scale is probably gonna be off we oh, yeah, actually it's not i actually put the centimeters back in 2.79 anyways if we jump inside and we check our UV channel, we have two of them. So the first one, as I said, we have the UV map. I know my mine is perfect. <laughs> and the second one is the light map, which is really, which is actually the one, one second, which is pretty much the one you can see here. It's the same thing. So I actually got a lot of requests for the light maps and I'm really mad the 2.8 glitch and hopefully they're gonna fix it. Because I don't like to go to 2.79 and sometimes I even sometimes work in it, but you know. Anyways, and the next thing I'm gonna show you the multiple ma materials if you have an object with it. Because, you know, that's actually really important as well. So, just, I'll be back in one second. So, you want more than one materials and, you know, th this is, oh my god, my blabbling is back. So, you, have, you want to take one, more than, I don't know, two materials or something. Let me, let me do this for an example. This one was actually one UV map. Do something like this. So, we have, I want this to be one and this to be another. Let's do this. Uno. And this one, dos. Quatro, yeah, I, I, I don't cringe. Sorry for this, guys. I I don't know what I'm saying. So pretty much, you go to the <laughs> material tab and you say, I don't know, this one is gonna be. I'll I'll name them the same. Actually, dos textures. And the second one, the where is it? Oh, they actually use the same material. I'll say uno and I'll say minus and I'll call this one uno material. Oh, that's wrong. Materials. And that's pretty much what you, what what you want. And don't forget this one. I mean, the light map should be one only because if you do more, I mean, it's impossible to have more light maps. But you know, if you want to bake texture, this one object you should have only one light map. So don't be confused by this. You know, you can separate the object or something else. You can actually make more UV maps. I don't know. You can UV this. For this UV map, then you can un uh, UV unwrap this, and then you're gonna make a third one, which is gonna be the light map. So hopefully that's not confusing you guys. If it does, you you can send me a message here in the comments or anywhere you actually want to. I'm I I really want to help anyone that needs help. So enough of my blabbling and wasting time. Let me go and show you guys Explore FBX how this works. Mult Multiple mats FBX. Yep. And I'll close and don't ever do this. This is pretty much double U port thing. So I'll delete all of them because there are actually three materials here and just force delete. And if I import the where is it multiple mats? I don't care actually with these settings now. Sorry about this. And if we go you can see you have uh this this is what happened actually we have two materials and this actually happened they came in separately if you want to fix this let me just you can do this but let me show let me let me, enough of my blabbling oh my god this is confusing me not you guys so if you do, I mean, if you want separate objects, you can do it by this. But if you want to be one piece, let me just delete it. And in my import settings, where's the multiple mats, you have combined meshes. Just click this and it's going to be one object. So one second. There we go, guys. Don't be mad at me. So you have Uno materials. You have, oh my God, I just close it. 
And this is actually sharing, I think it's sharing one UV map, it can't only mean one. Yup, it's just sharing one UV map. But, you know, that's the case, guys, if you want multiple materials, it's one object, always has one light map, don't forget that. If you want, um, if you, if I miss something or you want something extra, just tell me in the comments. I'm always looking for the help. And the next one we're gonna do is, I guess, Unity, because it's actually used a lot. And at the end, I'm gonna do CryEngine because I don't know, not a lot of guys use it, but it's actually pretty, pretty easy. Even if there's, there isn't any tutorials about going from Blender to, to CryEngine. So hope you guys liked it. Hope you subscribe and you know this asset. You know in the I'm um, this is gonna go for free if, when we hit 1k. If we hit for one, if we hit 1k, and now I'm way I'm blabbling too much. I'm just gonna say thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, do anything you want, and hopefully it helps. And I'll see you in the next episode.